next Saturday, April 24th, from 2 to 4 p.m., Alzheimer's Services of the East Bay will be having a virtual wine tasting. We really need your support. Go to our website. We have to raise $6,000. It's not a lot, but we do want to raise it so that we can continue during this COVID time. If you are a, another assisted living or a corporation or someone who would like to sponsor a table, virtual tables are $1,000 a piece and you will get the opportunity to present your organization on Life is a Sacred Journey. I will call you in for an interview and we will lift you up and what you're doing in the world to change the world. I'm Nicole Kearney and I'm the winemaker and founder of Sip and Share Wine. So this is the sample of one of the bottles we'll get. It's like manifest. So every one of our wine names um, are purposeful, affirmational names, gratitude, love, intention. So we use our wine um, and, and like I said, the purposeful names of, to give that kind of affirmation and just reminders to people on a daily basis when they're drinking. But we started this in 2016. We started out repping other winemakers, so black and women winemakers. And that's really how I got into it. That's how I originally met Fern. I came out um, to the Bay Area to do some drinking. I live in the Midwest um, now and I flew out there and had a great time. And I had been asking the question, where are the black winemakers? So I wanted to um, get those into people's homes so they can drink them and they could be introduced to all this fabulous wine. And then just time and, and just um, legalities of you know getting wine across states there's like wine is one of the most regulated or alcohol is just one of the most regulated industries um you know in the world we had we were already making our own sangria so we just figured a path to making it easier was um you know my, my business coach at the time was like hey you know you're black and you're a woman so you know you're already doing this so maybe you want to get into the um you know, into this. And I'm, I'm a writer, college professor, writer by trade. So that's what I was, was really doing was, you know, I had shows and I was, you know, producing. And so I was like, uh, you know, pouring wine and doing wine tastings for my friends and, and folks. That was cool. And it was, it was a side thing that I was doing. So I was really had my own full-time thing, but the wine just started taking off. And then people were like, Hey, you know, we, we want it. Can we get it? And so we had to figure that out. And then 2018, we just traveled the country and we had about 20 different wines. And we went to Essence, um, we, we came back out to California, we went East Coast and we let people just try it. We're like, just what do you like? And we took that feedback and we took that 20 wines and we narrowed that down to the seven word wine collection, which is what we have out now. So in 2019, we released that collection. 2018, we became a winery. 2019, we put the first um, wines out and and yeah and that and we just kind of been rolling since then uh, Fern is an amazing partner Black Vines it's just an amazing event um, and we try to get out there um, every couple of years so we do East Coast one year West Coast so 2020 was our West Coast year um, and so we didn't become the Black Vines because COVID was just starting people were getting sick but we had had some family members who had already been ill and weren't really sure what was going on yet so we were dealing with some of that and then it was like oh then we understood when it really um just came full circle so yeah so it for us it's been an incredible journey um we have so much fun and we started doing the virtual wine tastings because of COVID. like you said people still want to be in community and we're all about creating community with our wine and specifically for people who've been overlooked and underrepresented by the wine industry so that is who we target so we wanted to make sure we can still stay in community we can still get our wine we can still laugh and, and exchange energy and you know and be with our folks and it has been a wonderful time we do about five or six uh, virtual wine tastings a month so first of all we call them sip experiences oh, oh I so, love that. Um, to go with our you know our brand sip and share so we yep. do sip experiences um, and so I will come on um, and we do guided interactive um, virtual wine tasting so we want people to come and be ready to ask questions to get involved so we're going to give you everyone will get a sampler set so they'll get a box and it has all seven wines in them 
Um, so when they open it up, they'll see the different, everything in there. There's going to be a mat for them. I think I have, um, I probably have one somewhere, but they'll get a mat that'll actually like guide them through the wines. So they'll also have a postcard and we're just going to go through the wine. We're going to do some wine education. Um, our wines are all vegan. So everything we make is vegan. So, um, a lot of people don't know, um, that wines are, you know, that wines aren't vegan. So everything we make is vegan. So we always get calls from people say, well, do you have that vegan wine that I like? And I'm like, they're all vegan. So yes, <laughs> whichever one you want. So everything we make is vegan. Um, I'm a pescatarian, but I used to be a vegan. Um, my, my family, um, and we're a business of family. So my family, a lot of them are vegan and vegetarian. So we wanted to just create a wine that was um, at a good price point that people could, you know, afford, but it was also good for you, whether you, you know, chose that particular lifestyle path. So you'll get to drink these really incredible wines. Um, we're going to have a lot of fun. We just, we're going to talk through the wines. You're, you know, I'm going to give you some tasty notes. I'm going to give you like a guide on how you drink wine. We're going to have two hours, two, three hours, whatever we're going to have. We're going to have a lot of fun. <laughs> bring your questions buy the tickets because like we said the tickets are for a great cause so this is not like you said i love it it's not about any of us individually um it's the opportunity to do for community so i'm, I'm again i'm an east coaster too but i'm big on community um love 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 doing things for the community you know i've I got a background in community um economic development as well so i do a lot of community engagement work so the opportunity for this for us to also be able to give back and and share you know in this opportunity for the community um community work is is just stellar for us so you know gratitude for allowing us to be a part of the event as well and we are looking forward to meeting everyone who's you know purchased a ticket you know, we might give something away or we might tell you about some new specials we have it's just a lot of fun like you said to to be in community um to explain to people why we're vegan and what we do we yeah we just enjoy sharing that story and you know and just being in community with people and allowing you know our virtual tastings allows us to continue that engagement like you said in, in meeting people and learning their stories and so for that we are just in you know eternally grateful